You only got one minute? It's not a problem anymore. <laughs> Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine, again. And sometimes I feel like I don't have much time for nail art anymore. <laughs> you all know this. So I thought it would be fun to give myself just one minute to do nail art and see if I'm just making excuses or if doing nail art that quickly is really just gonna turn out like a disaster that wasn't worth it. Sometimes you have five minutes to get out the door and you really need that scale gradient nail art on your nails, you know? That's just life. I've seen a lot of the one minute versus 10 minute versus one hour type videos and I think it's a really cool experiment to see what you can achieve if you spend different amounts of time on whatever it is you're doing. But for nail art, the way I see it is you either spend as much time as the nail art technique requires you to spend to do a good job at it or you do it really quickly. So rather than overcomplicate this concept with three different time intervals, I'm gonna do a nail art technique on one nail for however long it takes me to do it well, whether that's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, two hours, and then try and recreate the same nail art with the same technique in just one minute. And I will do this a total of five times with five different nail art techniques, one for each finger. In the end, we could use however long it took me to do the good nail art on one nail and multiply that by 10 and assume that that's how long it would take you in total to do that nail art well on all 10 fingers. And by the same logic, if I'm allowed one minute per nail for the challenge portion, then if you multiply that by 10, that's like a 10 minute full mani nail art challenge. Make sense? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> so I've already done my creative nail art brainstorming here. Never forget to brainstorm. You gotta save time and be prepared. You ready? All right, let's go. Simply voice over here. What up, peeps? Figured I might as well give you a little quickie voiceover tutorial for old time's sake. And also because some of you I know actually want to know the nail art tips and tricks. So I'm gonna show you how I do a couple common nail art techniques when I'm actually putting full effort into doing it well. First off, we gotta peel my peelies. Just oiling them up with my DIY nail oil first. And I just did this manicure earlier in the day, so the peel is gonna be more of a wet, soft peel instead of popping peelies, you feel me? But don't worry, we still got them. Gotta peel them all. Now I'm naked, don't look. Here's something. <gasps> He's that mad tea, man. <laughs> Here's one, you can enjoy that as long as you'd like. And then this one you have to chug in a minute. I can't chug hot tea in a minute though, like I'll burn my esophagus or something. What if you steeped tea for one minute versus steeped it for an hour? Oh my god, this challenge has so many possibilities. First up, we're gonna do this very tiny glitter placement nail, which in the past has taken me over 10 minutes to show you in a tutorial, so this will be a speedy abbreviated version. Let's start the clock. I'm starting off with a ridge filling base coat on all my nails today to get them nice and smooth. Yes, it's because I'm testing prototypes. Shh. Always let your base coat dry for a couple minutes, have a sip of tea, and then time will fly by, you know? I also recorded all the time I spent waiting for things to dry so we can use that as a different metric when we examine the outcome of all of the nail arts. All right, I'm dry, let's go. We're gonna slap on some Royalty Blue by Hollow Taco Creme Polish as a base for this manicure. Let dry after first coat, sip tea, we got this. Second coat. Now get a toothpick. No, not for your teeth, but for to use to put glitters on your nails. I use a yogurt lid as a kind of a plate to spread around my glitter so I can pick it up easier. I'm using one of the smaller kinds of glitters, which makes it harder and longer to do, but there's also a larger size of hex glitter that you can use. I've done that in a previous tutorial as well. on a clock, let's go. Start off by wetting little sections of the nail one at a time with a clear polish. Not a quick dry glossy taco because those dry too quick. Then you're gonna lick the toothpick, that's right, it's not weird, I mean you put them in your mouth anyways. Then dip your wet toothpick onto the lid of glitter and pick one glitter up at a time and place them, one at a time. Now the idea here isn't just to randomly lay down a bunch of glitters. In theory, you're supposed to place and align the hexagons against each other so that their sides line up properly. Now this is really hard when you're working with glitters that are so tiny. So I kind of just, you know, put one down, move it around to try and make it fit like a mosaic and, you know, hope for the best. This technique takes a lot of practice and honestly, I'm out of practice. <laughs> 
because this technique requires lots of concentration and lots of time to do, that's why it's important to add the clear polish in sections so that you can work slowly as you go and build the glitters up to the top of the nail. Once you're done, you can gently press the glitters into the base polish. And now we go on a glassy taco and seal those glitters in. Of all nail arts, for this one, you especially want to make sure that your glossy taco is nice and thick. In fact, with glitter placements, I always do two coats of glossy taco. Because you see, after I let one coat of thick glossy taco dry, you're still seeing some texture above the glitters, and we want to try and minimize that. So we're going to add a second coat of nice thick glossy taco, just like gel polish and clean up on aisle three around the edges because you messy. There we go. Let's check the clock. That is a long time. So long that now my tea is cold. I'm gonna continue on with the mini tutorials for the four other nails and then we'll do the one minute challenge versions of all the nail arts after. All right, next up, rainbow gradient. Slap that ridge filling base coat on. Wow, this stuff really makes my nail look almost not yellow. <laughs> Remember when I said to prepare? Yeah, see, look, that's practice. When doing a gradient, I recommend putting down a base polish color first and pick the color that is the lightest of all the shades that you're using in the gradient. And now we gotta protect our skin from the nail polish by adding a layer of liquid latex around your nail. So that way when we sponge on nail polish, it won't stick all over our skin. Then you gotta let the liquid latex dry for a couple minutes and we're gonna get a fresh sponge here. And the sponge is a latex-free triangle cosmetics foundation sponge. Now I'm laying out the colors of the rainbow one by one. Don't make the stripes too thick or else the rainbow will go past your nail and all the colors won't fit on your nail. When I'm taking my time, I like to test the gradient first. Hmm. Looks good, we shall proceed. Then you gotta refill the sponge and dab it down on the nail with quick but light dabs. Not too heavy, you don't wanna push into the nail and don't glue it on too thick either. You wanna gently blend the colors together. And then we do one layer at a time to build up the colors. Okay, looking good, but let's do it again. In my mind, more layers of nail polish is never a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, Christine. But I do think you're gonna get better results if you do thin, lighter layers, letting them dry in between each other, rather than trying to do like one super thick layer that's just gonna turn out gloopy and ugly. Don't rush the nail art, okay? Things of beauty take time. And then you're gonna peel off the protection layer. And look at that, your finger is not pregnant. Congratulations. <laughs> If necessary, do a little cleanup using a cleanup brush dipped in acetone. And we're done here, so you can add a nice thick coat, a glossy taco. Wow. And the clock says... <music> Next up, nail vinyls. Ridge filler base coat. After you have your base coat down, you're gonna add a nice thick coat, a glossy taco. Because we're gonna add nail vinyls next. Now, for those of you who haven't seen some of my past nail art videos, it is extremely important that before you're gonna add anything sticky that you intend to peel off, you need to seal it first with a quick dry glossy top coat. I said it in English so people understand. Because if you don't, you're probably gonna rip up your base layer the second you go to peel off the nail vinyls. It's also important that you use not just any glossy taco, but a quick dry glossy taco in order to get that rock hard seal. I might be working on that too, shh. And then you gotta let the taco fully dry before you even think about sticking anything on it. I like to err on the side of caution. I probably don't need to wait this long, but I do. And at this point, Christine gets back cramps. Her neck is sore. She calls for Ben. Ben gives her a massage. <laughs> Suddenly I don't mind this challenge. Okay, where were we? Now that my glossy taco is nicely sealed and dry, we're gonna peel up a nail vinyl and you're just gonna place it carefully on the nail exactly where you want the design to appear. Gotta make sure it's safe and secure and nicely stuck down to the nail. And then instead of painting polish on top, I'm gonna sponge it on. Just because I like to overcomplicate things. <laughs> Well, no, because this is a metallic polish that so has little flakes in it, and I just think the effect goes on better if you use a sponge. So I'm just gonna dab, dab, dab to make my one nail fab. 
and I'm gonna finish it off with painting on top of sponging just to make sure we got every little crevice. Peel off the nail vinyl. clean up any messes. Unfortunately, I did have a few. But this is one of the time consuming things about doing nail vinyls. Sometimes not every nail vinyl peel is going to be perfect and you might have to do a little cleanup. I just use a small brush dipped in acetone and lightly clean around the edges of the design. And you can go the extra simply mile if you take the base color and start doing touch ups like a painter. I could spend forever doing this, but let's move on. Add a nasty glossy taco to seal everything in. And what do we got? You know what I just realized? I'm gonna do these really well and spend hours on them and then I'm gonna have to take them off and recreate it in one minute. I won't even get to wear my beautiful nail art that I spent so long on. Let's choose a simpler technique for the pinky finger. How about that? Paint the nail black with one coat of one coat black. Let it dry a couple minutes and get interrupted by my cats. Hey girl, what you doing? You wanna join the nail art challenge? Can't waste time. Cats, stop distracting me. Now we're gonna do one of the easiest techniques known to human. Just add a hollow taco. Stare at the hollow for a few minutes while it sets and then add a nice thick coat of glossy taco to seal it all in. And what do we got? And yes, I know just adding a hollow taco doesn't really qualify as nail art. But give your girl a break, okay? I've already been in this room for like three and a half hours now. <laughs> okay, last up, we got the thumbnail. Let's do a classic dotacure nail art and see how long that takes me. Open all the polishes you wanna make dots with so they're readily available. And first slap on a base color. I'm using one coat black again. Dotting tools, they have balls on them. I'm gonna take a fresh yogurt lid, put some nail polish on it, and dip my dotting tools right in the puddle. Most of the time you're gonna need to refill your dotting tool after every dot. Sometimes I can get away with doing a couple dots before refilling. Look at me work, look at me go. I didn't really have a particular pattern in mind. A dotacure is one of those designs where you can just kind of start in one corner and build to the next. And this is what my brain decided to make. And because I can't help myself, I added more dots inside of the dots. I like to wait a few good solid minutes before adding a glossy taco, or else you risk smearing all of your hard work. And when you do put the glossy taco on, do it gently, float it across the nail, you know? And the dotacure took me. And there we have it, five different nail arts that took me quite a bit of time to do just one nail each. Which one's your favorite? Comment down below. Wow, they look so good, I must have spent hours on them. <laughs> I did. Let's tally things up here on my very scientific spreadsheet. The nail art that took the longest in total, including drying time, was surprisingly... <laughs> nail vinyls. 43 minutes for this. Just this. Now that does include drying time, which accounted for over half of the total time it took. Now if I did this design on all my 10 fingernails, it wouldn't necessarily be 43 minutes times 10 nails because you can save on drying time by going to each nail for each step. And by the time you're at nail number 10, you can go back to number one and it's probably already dry. <laughs> Two hours. Not bad. <laughs> or is that bad? Is two hours a long time to spend doing your nails? <laughs> All this goes to show that nail art really does take a lot of time, doesn't it? I think it's easy to get the impression by watching nail art tutorials on YouTube that a lot of nail art can be done quickly and easily because you watch a 10 minute video and you're like, hey, I could do that. But in reality, the nail artist might have spent six hours at their desk doing that. All right, now that I've got these beautiful nails on that I've spent a total of, I'm gonna take them off and recreate them all with just one minute each. Alright, I'm naked and ready to begin. We're gonna need a referee though. BAM! 
I'm allowed to prepare in advance, right? Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Got my reference picture. Ready? Tell me when, Ben. All right. Three, two, one, go. Gotta dunk the glitter into something I can dip my finger in. Don't have time to paint a base color. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. 15 seconds. <sighs> Oh, I'm done. Wow. Not bad. I mean, it's definitely not a glitter placement because I didn't place the glitters anywhere in particular. <laughs> I'm not gonna have time to add liquid latex, am I? I'm ready. Counting down. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready. All right, it doesn't matter if you're ready. We're counting down. Five, ben. four, three. Do a second coat real quick, real quick, guys. 30 seconds. No, on no, 10, 9, no, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, wait, wait, one. no, I didn't have time to Happy take it off. New Year. <laughs> oh, you just like painted your whole finger, eh? pretty much. <laughs> it's finger art. It's not so hard to get a gradient in under a minute, but it's just the mess I'm gonna have to clean up after. There's even a menchie hair in it. <laughs> Didn't have time to take that out. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the hardest one to do in a minute. How can I not let the glossy taco dry? That's illegal. Four, three, two, one, go. We ain't got time for no base coats. Just a wet prototype. <laughs> You showing people that already? Shh. Riding a glossy taco and we're gonna give it 10 seconds to dry. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's a mess, it's a mess, it's disgusting. Ben, Ben, no! We gotta peel, we gotta peel. Peel, 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 peel. Well kids, now you've learned your lesson. What happens when you don't let the glossy taco dry? All right, next we have something that I might actually be able to do well in a minute. You got this, girl. I got this, okay, ready? <laughs> Start the clock, bitch. Three, two, one. Oh shit, I just put the glitter everywhere. <laughs> We're good. We be well, chilling. Time to let it dry and I may even have time to add a glossy taco on this. Well. I mean, does that count as nail art, though? Whoa. It's just putting on a hollow taco nail art. Do my nails look fabulous? <laughs> okay, that's the better question. Hey, maybe this is the answer. You gotta be out the door in five minutes? Just add a hollow taco. <laughs> this is not sponsored by hollow taco. <laughs> Still got it. No, 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 I don't. Seconds. I don't. Stop it. 10, 9, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Alright, what do we think? Actually, not bad. You did that in a minute. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> This was fun. Let me know down in the comments what else I could do for just one minute. I have an idea. That's all it'll take. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see y'all later. Bye!